guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a declutter video, but it's going to be a little bit different because I don't do huge all at once, like wait until it's overwhelming and declutter half my collection kind of declutters. I just take out little things here and there as I buy new things so it doesn't become overwhelming. And then I set them aside for friends or family. So I decided to make a box. I've got a little Sephora box here of items I'm decluttering so you can see what I'm passing on in my collection even though I'm not doing a huge declutter <laughs> and getting rid of half of my collection this information might be helpful to you on what is not worth keeping yeah I hope that made sense anyway let's get started so the first item I'm decluttering is this Dove Style Care Flexible Hold Hairspray. I picked this up when I went on my vacation to Colorado Springs and I forgot my hairspray and we only had time to like stop at Safeway and pick something up. So this seemed to be what I was looking for, a flexible but strong hold. But my curls, every time I have used it, deflate within a couple of hours. So I'm going to be passing this on. It, it doesn't have enough hold for my hair, but it might work for somebody with a little bit more natural hold and natural curl, curl <laughs> to their hair. The next thing I'm decluttering is the Stila One Step Illuminate Primer. And this is a good primer. I really do enjoy it, but it expires. I don't know if you can see. It expires in six months. And I have already had this like four or five months since I opened it December. I always date my products and I've only used this much. So I want to pass it on to a friend who will use it more often and actually use it up maybe before it goes bad because I sure as heck am not going to use this sucker up before it goes bad. Then I am decluttering some single Sigma eyeshadows. They're in the shade Ginger Pumpkin and Midori. And these are good shadows initially. They're pigmented, they blend well but they have no lasting power like they disappear so fast on me even with my urban decay primer potion which usually extends the wear of my shadows by a lot like i can wear my eyeshadow go out fall asleep in it wake up still have perfect eyeshadow these <laughs> were gone within like an hour so i never reach for them because i know they're not gonna last so I'll pass them on and maybe somebody else will enjoy them and maybe they'll last on someone who say has oilier skin or I don't know, they just didn't work for me. I'm also decluttering two Maybelline City Minis. Not decluttering all of my City Minis, I love these little guys, but I don't reach for these particular palettes. The first one being the rooftop bronzes and the second one being urban jungle because neither of these have enough mattes for me rooftop bronzes has zero mattes this has one matte and it's a deep dark green so i can't really do a complete look and the reason i love these little mini palettes is they're good for travel but I can't get a complete look out of them. So I'm passing them on to hopefully someone who will enjoy them a little more than me. Next, I am decluttering my Urban Decay Naked Skin Corrector in green. And this is just a liquid color corrector in a pale green shade meant to correct redness. And I really don't have too much redness. I don't reach for it enough and it's gonna go bad. Uh, my date rubbed off. I don't even know when I opened this, but this is less than a year old, but it's getting close to 
It's at least six months old and it expires in a year and I take liquid product expiration dates very seriously. Not powders so much, but liquids because they're wet and bacteria can grow in them. I take it very seriously. So I'm going to pass this on to someone I personally know that does have a lot of redness and would get some use out of this before it has to be tossed. Then I am decluttering the Urban Decay Ozone Primer. It's a lip primer and it's just like a waxy clear pencil. You can't even see it. And I recently hauled and got the MAC lip primer and I like the application of it a little bit better and I find they work about equally so I'm passing this on to a friend who actually asked if she could have it. So this already has a happy home and I'm glad someone is going to get some use out of it because I have had this one. It's good for 24 months and I've had this one probably close to that. Probably close to that. So it'll get a little more use before the end of its life. Next, I am decluttering the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in 10 Adorable. I recently showed this in my Walmart Beauty Box review. It's this really pretty pinky nude color. And I just have other nudes that are more comfortable that I know I will reach for before I reach for this. So I'm passing this on because I'm never going to reach for it and it's a liquid product. You know, I take those expiration dates seriously, so I'm going to find it a good home. These last two things are honestly my hardest things to declutter because I feel attached to them. Like I feel emotionally attached to these items and I'm just not reaching for them and I'm not going to reach for them and I have to face that and I have to let them go. So the first thing is the My Little Pony Press Powder Highlighter by Colourpop in Trickles. And it's this really pretty like purple blue shade and honestly it just doesn't show up. You have to like really dig in to get pigment. I think it might be pressed too hard or I've gotten hard pan or something because you gotta really dig in to get some pigment. Let me try and get some color. Come on. There, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, but I can dupe this with my Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit. I have the purple heart color is a dupe for this. So, oh yeah, I can totally see it now. Because I already have a color exactly like this that performs better, like it's easier to use and get on the brush and everything, I'm passing this on and it makes me really, really sad because I was so excited for the packaging, the box, I even saved the box. I love the My Little Pony collection. I already decluttered the first highlighter because it was too dark on my skin tone and now I'm getting rid of this one and it hurts but it needs it needs a better home than me it needs to be loved more than I can love it the last item and the other item that's really hard for me to let go of is my Mac whisper of guilt and I was initially drawn to this last fall winter because of the embossing. It's so gorgeous. And when I swatched it in store, it seemed like a pale enough gold that it would look okay on my skin tone. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks dark on my skin. I wore it in my Black Friday try on haul and it looks like a shadow on the top of my cheekbones and it's beautiful and lovely but it's too dark for me and I gotta face it I'm never gonna wear it because it's too dark for me it needs a better home and I know a lovely tan lady Nikki you've seen her on my channel who would love this and can pull this off and has enough color in her face to be able to pull this off. So it hurts because I 
fell hard for the snowflake embossing and the packaging, but I'm giving it a better home. <laughs> So those are all the items I have recently decluttered. Like I said, I am constantly decluttering, but I don't do huge all at once, like massive cutthroat, cut everything in half declutters. I just edit my collection as I go and as I add things, I remove things. So if you'd like to see more of these videos where I collect the things I pull out a little bit at a time, and tell you my thoughts on them and why I'm passing them on, give this video a thumbs up or even let me know in a comment down below and I will continue to save my decluttered items. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. So much fun hanging out with you guys and I will see you next time. Bye!